Hello. Uh, so we're going to be making a book today, something along these lines. Um, probably with slightly lower quality, but uh, yeah, we got the themes and it's a book. You can write with it. Has a pen attached. All right, so let's look over the materials that we'll be using. First off is the paper. Uh, now this is a low acid paper, so it has a longer life expectancy. Uh, and it's sustainable forestry, so that's good. Um, we have scissors that we'll be using to cut the paper. We have uh, a cotton string that we'll be using to bind the paper together. Um, and then we have, this is our book all makeshift. Uh, we'll be poking the hole with this and expanding it with the skewer, the safety pin and the skewer. Um, then uh, we have the cover, which will be uh, the hard, hard, hardboard. Um, we'll just use cardboard. Uh, and then uh, we can make the spine and the cover from uh, this fabric, which is just a piece of jeans. And another optional uh, but recommended addition is the pen in the, in the back. Um, and for that we'll be using uh, a file to make some grooves to make it easier for the string to hold onto the pen. Uh, and this tape is for reinforcing the seams right here uh, that hold the uh, in, in to the cover. So here I've articulated uh, the steps that we'll be taking. So first it was zero, the material listing, then uh, paper folding. Then we'll be cutting the paper with scissors. Then we'll be making holes for the string. Then we'll be threading the books, attaching the spine, preparing the cover, and attaching the cover to the contents. All right. So that's how it is. Um, so first things first is paper. Now I like to have 16 sheets per booklet and for that we need four pages. Alright, so how we're going to do this is first Make sure it's flat, and now we're going to fold it on the vertical or horizontal, you know, but like what you just saw, and then we'll fold it again. And for a booklet of this size with 128 sheets or 256 pages, uh, we'll need eight of these booklets. And um, so I'm just going to demonstrate quickly. So, and now we do the uh, do the cutting. We'll be doing this for all of the booklets. You can use a shear, it might be more accurate. This, see this cut portion is going to be at the bottom. So at the top, it'll be nice and uh, like that. Yep. All right. So, make a few more booklets for now. Yep, so I folded a bunch more booklets and uh, more about the cutting. 
Let's see what these large scissors can uh, do it all in. Or do one side in one or two cuts. Now I don't cut all the way to the end. You can. Um, but A, it's hard, and B, this little bit of extra helps it uh, stay together and aligned. So yeah, we're just cutting it along the first fold that we made, the horizontal fold. Make sure you do the horizontal fold first, of course. Here we can see this one's kind of misaligned. So let's just go over that again. So it folds like this, and then you can at the corners, make sure the corners align. Alright. This corner aligns and this corner. See? Much straighter. And now we do I'm in a bit of a hurry, so it's not very pretty. Uh, but yeah, you can take your time, do it really neatly and carefully. Uh, though really, I don't know, it's, it's up to you, it depends on the quality of book that you're looking for. All right, now this is one of those, you know, mysterious components, the, the book all. Now usually it's a uh, this metal thing that you can only get at a few specialty stores. Uh, though if you can get a, a real book all, that would be great. Uh, but this is a cheap tutorial. So see, I'm using the safety pin right there. And it goes right through. Now we only need to make two holes. Two holes should be enough. I used to make four but that requires a lot of threading. And now that we've made that hole, the little hole, we can expand it with the skewer. Let's see, you could twist and it goes right through. And twist. And it goes right through. Alright. Let's do a second one, just in case you missed that. So, see, you can divide this into three, and then one third of the way down, you make your first hole. All right, now two thirds of the way down. You don't have to use such a large safety pin, I'm kind of using it for demonstration purposes, but it's also uh, more sturdy when it's larger. Right. And a safety pin is something you can get at just about any dollar shore or suing place or you know, that kind of stuff. It's very, very easy to source. Yep. All right, so I'll do the rest, and then we'll get on to threading. 
that's kind of like the hardest part uh, in terms of you have to know how to make nuts.